So because of recent news that my channel is dying, I've been kind of in panic mode recently. Like, not too bad, but uh, I've been thinking, what will give me views and subscribers again? Top 5 dumbest characters? No. Most dateable? No. So instead, I thought, let's reach back to my already successful videos and just do it again. And I'm also going to change the title to Top 10 Hardest Characters and leave out the Master to trigger less people, even though I really don't understand why Master ruins the whole video to you. But uh, in a real, you know, more serious fashion, this was something I have been wanting to do for a really long time because I felt like my original Hardest Characters video was heavily, heavily flawed. Like, for example, I put Mewtwo in it. Ugh. So here's a remake of sorts, I guess. Also, to clarify, this is for once an actual serious take on a top 10. Like, I do truly believe these things. And uh, if you guys aren't sure whether or not I make a serious top 10 or if it's not a serious top 10, you can look in the description. I'll usually have a hashtag satire in there if it's not serious. And also I have a playlist determining which one is and isn't serious. So just like the good old days, these are my opinions only and you're free to disagree if you do, please so. Also, be sure to check out my original video because with the characters I repeat, I probably won't go as in-depth about them as I did in the first video because I already explained it. So why would I need to repeat myself? So my original number 10 placing was actually Pikachu, and I think back on it and I do still believe that he's a pretty difficult character, but I also think he has some pretty easy traits to him as well, so I just don't think he fits into the top 10. Now ZSS is a really weird character. If this was pre-patch, she'd be in my easiest list, but due to the fact that she can't just consistently get stupid kills off of grabs at like 20-30%, it just makes her significantly harder to use. Than, he normal, than she normally would have been. Like, you're gonna have to play way more perfect and patiently to get really anything going with her. Yeah, she's got a great punish game, of course, but due to how punishable she is as a character, you have to work really hard to make sure you don't mess up or leave yourself too open. So it really just results in this, you know, you you spacing and, like, doing lots of fast fall nares and trying to mix up your opponent and make sure you're never being too, too like, you know, readable or predictable with any of your options. The Sheik remains. I do believe the same things I did in the last time I made one of this list, except people did criticize me for using examples of weird and complicated combos, so I'm gonna go break it down in more simple terms. I think due to her incredibly low damage output on her moves, unless you fully mastered the character, then you aren't going to get all the reward out of the character that you normally would. Like, unless you're professional level, like Void and Mr. R doing crazy stuff like perfect pivot forward tilts and all of these crazy shrinks involving perfect pivots and footstools and I don't think just footstool combos, whatever. Like, unless you're those players, usually the best you'll be able to do is like forward throw bouncing fish and a couple fair shrinks. So, you know, at lower levels, you never really see Sheiks sh outshining people. It's just not really possible. You have to be really at this really high level with her. I kept Wii Fit on the list and my reasons will remain. I think her moves in terms of hitboxes and the way they come out and all of that really make her a pretty weird and difficult character to use. You know, someone who's never used her before might have a pretty tough time getting used to her and being able to use her at an efficient level. And him. Ugh. When I was originally making this list, not like this one in particular, the original one, I bowed with myself a lot on whether or not Duck Hunt should make it in. Now that I've released my Smarticle Particles and Mewtwo is out, now he's finally in. For one, as a character to wall out and gain slow damage through projectiles, he's probably one of the worst. You pretty much need to play really well and perfect to win against a player using a better character than Duck Hunt. He's got an absolutely pitiful grab with the fact that nothing combos or even kills out of you. Like, you can't even, like, up throw kills like 200. So it kind of forces you to think outside the box and try making your own special combos instead. Not only that, but Duck Hunt also lacks so many kill options and even kill power, so it makes you as a player have to go leaps and bounds farther than any other players would for kills. Like, the best you're getting is a back air kill, and like, his smash attacks are all pretty much useless. So you, you really are limited in just, you know, one simple move kill. Like, you'll often see a lot of top players, you know, throwing out the can and doing really weird and crazy can combo setups and stuff, and like, dash tacking it so then you can throw it, like, it just... They have to, it's really complicated and the characters are really strange and just weird. So Shulk also returns. Now from number 6 and onwards, it's roughly the same except I've kind of moved characters around a bit. Since I only mentioned Shulk's crazy stuff like his footstool combos, let me be a little more in depth this time. For one, changing Monado's mid-flight with an opponent and making sure you switch depending on the situation you're in can be tough and stressful. You know, like if you're getting attacked or like comboed, you might want to switch into shield mode to make sure you don't get comboed as hard. 
or you know make sure you don't mess up and switch to smash it really does it's very stressful and you gotta make sure you don't mess up and stuff you got a lot of you know monado cancels like stuff like that trying to cancel your monado and to cancel landing lag which people definitely do often perfect pivots are useful with this character especially you know with people above you perfect pivot up tilts to like juggle them in the air and plus because of his bad frame data and lacking combos you're going to be you know more forced to space moves out a lot and make sure your opponent never really gets a chance to hit you or even get any combos so playing like that can be stressful and really hard to consistently be able to keep your opponent out of you your face and out of your like area all in all i think shulk is very deserving of the spot I actually bumped Peach back one spot, which really isn't a big deal, but I figured I should mention it. Nonetheless, Peach is a really hard character. If you're a Peach player, to efficiently play here, you're going to HAVE to use her float efficiently. Whether that's short hop float canceling to land in neutral to mess up your opponent, you know, mix them up so they don't know what you're going to try and do, or being able to use the float to harass and get in your opponent's face but still make it not really predictable. There's some really wild footstool combos I think need to be mentioned because they really are useful for her. I've seen Peach players short hop float cancel to fast fall nair and repeat that to string the moves together and it's just really wild and being able to like actually string them all together without messing up is impressive. Float is really the sole reason why she's a hard character and rightfully so because float's just absolutely insane. Since I moved Peach down, that means Mega Man got bumped up a spot. I think just by watching Kamehame and how much he has to do in a match is absolutely tremendous. Mega Man's neutral consists of just repeatedly throwing out his lemons and out of short hops, full hops, and so much more, and it's actually really hard to consistently space those out without messing up and doing a miss input. Along with that, other than low percent down throw combos, he doesn't really have any easy bake type of combos. So you'll see top Mega Man's Z dropping Metal Blade into spikes or footstools or then jab blocks. Uh, Kamehame very consistently pulls off this footstool jab lock kill all the time, and it's actually one of his most reliable kills simply because he lacks good and reliable kill options outside of it. You know, back air sometimes they'll fall out of it, uh, forwards, all the smash attacks are like laggy and not really that great. Up air like doesn't really kill if, if you're like, you know, you don't jump or air dodge or do something stupid with it. So he's just a really tough character. I actually decided to bump Ryu down two spots, so he's no longer my number one. Ryu is very hard, no doubt, that's why he's number three. But he's not the hardest, simply because if you master his hard stuff like his inputs or his combos, then this character is basically straight up nonsense because of how much damage he does and how early he kills. All of these things are hard to pull off, but once you can do it, it's pretty dang good. And I think the character is hard, but I also think that once you master him, there's like smooth sailing from there. I'm in this period of my Smash career where I just like to pick up hard characters and try to main them because I don't really have a, a passion to go competitively. I just kind of like to, you know, mess around and try to develop new things with characters and just have fun. And after my original hardest characters list, I did just that to both Ryu and Greninja. I main them both now, which actually really helps me in knowing where to put them. Greninja is honestly really hard to play consistently at like the same level night in and night out. He doesn't really have any easy or natural combos. You'll see so many top level players just nonchalantly go for footstool combos just to get their damage. And it does a lot of damage, but you gotta be on point and not mess up those combos because they're like really hard to do. His speed mixed with his fall speed and his jump height just make him so weird and hard to control. And you know, I hate to say this, but it makes him kind of slippery like a frog. <laughs> and honestly, sometimes I'll find myself switching off of the character simply because my hands get tired of using him. And I'm like, yeah. I got switched, this is rough. Does this call for a reuse joke? Nah, I'll actually talk about him this time. Let's start by saying that Pac-Man has hands down the worst grab in the game. So you're literally not allowed to grab with this character. His item combos are like out of this world hard to do, but sadly that's the only way to combo with him. You know, get a Galaga ship, throw the Hydrant at him, then throw the Galaga ship and re-catch the ship and then throw it again or do like cool side B stuff with that. Or, you know, Z drop an item, barrage his shield with like 1 million inputs. He does, he just has so many things you have to do correctly in order to like consistently play him and play him reliably and win all the time with him because, you know, without those types of combos, you're not really going to be evenly matched unless you're just like ridiculously good at the game. So, to be honest, I'd honestly say he's not worth it, but like if you like the character, then you do you, man. So, thank you for watching this video, guys. Uh,. I know that this was kind of something that I, I don't really like, you know, want. I didn't want to do this video just because I wanted to get views. Uh, obviously, at this point in my channel, I'm definitely losing subscribers. I don't know if it's because people aren't subscribing for me or if YouTube's glitched out because it's kind of weird how many I'm losing per day. 
and like it's I just find it hard to believe that everyone wants to everyone's unsubbing at around the same time but I'm not gonna rant about that too much I am just gonna let you guys know that there is a bell notification thing right by the sub subscribe button if you're already subscribed to me which you should do that too go ahead and subscribe like this video but then click on that bell because that'll notify you for every time I upload a new video it makes it a little bit easier for me and plus that way you know you guys won't miss my videos and maybe YouTube won't be detecting you as inactive subscribers and unsub you because that's also a reason why I've been losing subs I know that much so uh, just be sure to, to click on that bell I'll put a, a screen here to showing you guys how to like a picture it'll really help me out if you do that and uh, be sure to go follow me on Twitter as well, because Twitter also lets you guys know about new stuff I'm doing. And uh, maybe like, because I've been ranting and complaining like crazy on there about my subscriber loss. So you'll know if there's a problem. So go follow me on Twitter. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you later. Bye.